I strongly believe that many Yu-Gi-Oh players, myself included, have daily struggles on wh whether to build a deck revolving around uh, their favorite dragon monsters or their favorite Yu-Gi-Oh waifus. Well, yeah, it can uh, lead to some pretty catastrophic results in terms of deck lists, whether uh, in the department of uh, being a breakfast or well, just not having uh, enough space to include all the cards you wanted. Thankfully, Konami one day intervened in the set of Mystic Fighters and released a Dragon Maid archetype, uh, which is basically the bulk of both worlds, in my opinion. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's a very battle-focused fo deck, which focuses on. Uh, sending out humanoid dra dragon maids onto the field, which basically boosts the consistency of, of themselves and basically set up a, a lot of their graveyards for their plays. And during the battle phase, you can transform them, so to speak, into their dragon forms, which have pretty impressive attack values for their uh, for their levels. Well, I should say pretty respectable because. These attack values are usually nothing that amazing in, at first in hindsight. But yeah, uh, I was uh, on my quest, so to speak, to try to create the deck which utilizes said gimmick of Dragon Maids to the fullest. And yeah, these are the results which came so far. I'm still working on how to cre create a functional a functioning red eyes variant with these guys uh, with these gals I should say because just like red eyes these girls just love their graveyard setup so I believe uh, it is a solid foundation for a possible dragon made red eyes build which could top a few events here and there so let's take a look at the, this little uh, cook up I've managed to well cook up. Well, it's a 40 card deck. I really, I'm really a sucker for 60 card decks, but I believe that 40 card decks uh, deck really works here. So let's have a rundown, shall we? First of all, a uh, three off staple in the uh, Dragon Maid Tilru and Parla. Uh, I'm using OCG names because the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro has the OCG card models and proxies as. Uh, as a as a as a picture here, so yeah, basically Tilru is the kitchen dragon maid, I think, and the uh, parlor is the parlor dragon maid. So yeah, basically you play three of them because Tilru is on on summon searcher and basically a foolish burial in one, and uh, Parla is an on summon foolish burial slash foolish burial goods. Need I say anything more? We'll, we'll get more back onto her when we. Uh, talk about their fusion spell when we get to it. Uh, then we have two copies of Nazari and Laudry. Laudry acting as the archetypal card trooper slash Dante, and Nazari being a debris dragon for the archetype. And yeah, I run two of each because reviving uh, low level dragon made monsters from the graveyard with Nazari's effect is not as needed as I initially thought it would be. I initially had a way more link-centric for a format of a deck where I ran three Nazari because I wanted to make a shit ton of links. But as we'll see in the link department, you barely run links. So yeah, and Laudry is just a two-off because uh, you can actually send by this effect some cards which you'll we'll see below are needed to remain in your hand or field, so uh, too many laundries can cause a bit of uh, mishaps in terms of setting up the graveyard and self-milling. Uh, for the dragon forms I run two of each, well two of each dragon, uh, two uh, for the Tilru, two for Parla, two for Nazari and two for uh, Laudry. And yeah, as in terms of their effects goes, I most uh, I most usually only use Erde's effect, which is basically a special summon condition. You discard her and en enable in order to special summon a dragon mate from your hand. Uh, I think it works on any dragon mate. I need to check. But yeah, uh, Flame's effect is useful when we get to, uh, if you're aiming to we we go for game for the with their fusion monster. Luft is a perfectly fine uh, if prototype effect veiler. And uh, the Laudry's dragon form is 
really nothing that impresses. Basically an archetypal Death Feral Imp. I never thought I'd say those words. But yeah, and that's basically all the monsters. No, nothing, in, uh, nothing within the third party scope of uh, support for these. Now let's go on to their spell and traps. Uh, I run two Dragon Maids Welcome because uh, it's uh, it's uh, it can be a bit uh, too cloggy on the field, and it's basically much more used as its uh, target for Laudry to dump it into the graveyard or Parla even to dump it to the graveyard in order to achieve its second effect, which is that uh, you Dragon Maids cannot be targeted by card effects this turn, which is a really lovely card. Uh, the f the fusion card, uh, clothes changing, I actually was running at 3 earlier on, but due to how searchable and recyclable it is, and as you can see I run the fusion monster at 3, but we'll get to that, uh, it's basically not needed at 3, because uh, getting into it is super super easy, despite not being treated as a poly card or a, super, or, or a fusion card. Uh, so yeah, I run 2 of those as well. And I also run one Dragon Maid send off because, yeah, I run it mostly for style points, but it can, did kind of come in handy quite a few times when uh, my uh, initial setup didn't work when the opponent actually uh, managed to get rid of my uh, board. And uh, it actually works as a decent uh, backup option if you want to basically exchange. Uh, a low level dragon made it, uh, that probably isn't going to make it into the battle phase and then return it to the hand and then summon another uh, better mo monster and, tr and trigger its summoning uh, summon effect if you're summoning a low level dragon maid. And then of course I run 3 hospitality because it's an archetypal monster reborn and a foolish burial, what else can I say? And in terms of spells, that is it for the dragon maid lineup of cards. Alright, now let's go uh, get this out of the way. Uh, since uh, the uh, Dragon Maids rely that much on attacking and basically destroying shit, I was surprised that the, that the Yu-Gi-Oh! community didn't think of this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the field spell Ancient Forest, which was used in 5Ds by Ruka. And basically it's a field spell that when activated it switches all monsters to attack mode, which is pointless since we, uh, we live in the Link era. But its other effect is that it automatically destroys every monster that battled at the end of the battle phase. What does this mean? Let me explain it to you. Well, uh, to all of you who didn't twig it already. Uh, Dragon Maids, at the start of the uh, battle phase, like I already said, transform into their dragon forms and then they do battle. And right after the battle phase ends, you can tra chain it to the... Uh, ancient forest and then resummon their human forms. That way you're dodging the destruction effect of ancient forest and you get to uh, re-trigger their summon effects which is all the more lovely. And more utility when we, uh, when we get to the fusion monster but we'll get there when we get there. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, the kind of build I was aiming for when I uh, was uh, when I had in mind the gimmick of the Dragon Maids. I still lack the proper protection for the field spell, and I am not really uh, bright on the ideas of how to protect this field spell in the, in this deck. I had Malefic Stardust Dragon in mind, and I really wanted to put him in, but then I realized that uh, Malefic Stardust Dragon basically locks out all other monsters from attacking, which is... Why? Why even? And then I had Field Barrier, but if you... if the opponent happens to banish uh, the Field Spell with stuff like Cosmic Cyclone, my own Field Barrier prevents me from activating another one. So... Yeah, you uh, Dragon Maids tend to basically uh, destroy the opponent before the, the opponent get, gets a way to get rid of the field spell. So basically, it's uh, it's a lock a lockdown for the opponent not being able to attack while the, while the field spell is in play. Because if they do attack and they do some damage, they lose all their monsters. Of course, if the monster ha hasn't got the immunities of be cannot being destroyed by card effects. Uh, and yeah, another great thing about Ancient Forest is that it does not target, so great. 
awesome. The destruction effect is automatic. So yeah. And because you run three ancient forests and because it's damn near essential, you run a copy of terraforming because it's limited because of those accursed mystic mind players. And a quick peek into the trap uh, spell and a, a quick peek into the trap line, I'm sorry I meant to say. You also run one Metaverse, which can directly activate it from the deck, because, well, it's a really decent disruption. If you happen to lose your copy, you activate this and get another copy out. And then, you know, for the rest of the Spill and Trap lineup, we have three trade-in for some more consistency and draw power. You're running four level eights, so it should be no problem. Two Solidarities to make them hit super, super hard. And a copy of Monster Reborn, just in case. And... In terms of trap cards, I've already covered Metaverse, and you basically run three copies of Dragon Maid Relaxation. So, yeah. Dragon Maid Relaxation is such a great card, you basically get to bounce back your own uh, Dragon Maids in order to search others out. You also get to bounce back the opponent's back row if you feel like it, so... It's overall a great array of effects. Now for the extra deck. I already said you run three, uh, three of the... Uh, housekeep, uh, housekeep dragon maid because it's a very powerful boss monster, and if you happen to not care about the rest of the extra deck lineup, uh, you, it can basically sit in the monster zone and basically clear fields and boards if you happen to be tr uh, re -trigger triggering and re triggering the summon effects and re summoning and summoning whole lot of dragon maids monsters that before and after the battle phase. It can be a really, really cool. Monster, it offers um, a, a great support, and that, that's why uh, basically she's near and uh, damn really essential. So you always run three of them. And that's it for the fusion monsters. And now we come to the majority of the extra deck, which are Xyz monsters. Well, first of all, I should actually cover the Link monsters. In terms of Link monsters, you don't really run much. You only run one uh, You only one run, run Sir Yuja Skulldread, one copy of that, one copy of uh, Darkness Metal, the Dark Dragon, uh, the Dragon of Dark Steel, which is a new Red Eyes support card, which I actually forgot to include during the Volume One of Archetype rematch. But there's always Volume Three, and yeah, uh, you only, you most of the time summon Sir Yuja because uh, summoning. Uh, the Red Eyes Xyz monster can actually be uh, a, bit, a bit too specific at times. So, but in when, but when you do summon him, you get a, a free monster from the graveyard, and you it prevents you from Link summoning further, which is not that big of a deal to compare because of what Link monsters you actually run in this deck. And then three, three copies of Galaxy Satellite Dragon because I'll explain just in a minute when I talk about the Xyz monsters. In terms of Xyz monsters, I, foc uh, I tried to focus on number 97 Draglubion, which actually has a pretty neat effect when it allows you to summon a number monster. Uh, it allows you to take two number monsters from your extra deck and special summon one of them and, uh, and place the other as the Xyz material. You usually tend to go for Chaos Number 107 Galaxy Neo Galaxy as Tachyon Dragon with the original 107 under it as material, because with the with the dra Dragon Maid swarming ability, you can easily proc his multiple attacking effect, and not to mention with Galaxy Satellite Dragon, you can make him an even nastier beat stick for a really nice and good chunk of uh, damage into the opponent's face. And also, if you happen to need it at the moment, you can also go in for number 38, uh, Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. And that is for the number cards, and we also have uh, three other Galaxy cards, which is Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Blade Dragon, and Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon, beca because of obvious reasons. And that is easy popping stuff on the field, and... Uh, Full Armor Photon Dragon being another very great 4000 attack beat stick. And that does it pretty much for the extra deck. And now for side options uh, in terms of Dragon Maids, well, the third copy of Nazari, Laudry, and all the Dragon Forms, third copy of the Fusion card, 
a third copy of Welcome, two other copies of Send Off, and a third copy of Solidarity if you were, uh, if you want some additional pumping power. You, uh, I also have the Horus Dragons here, level four, six, and eight. If you want, if you want some experimentation in terms of shutting down the opponent's spell cards, but yeah, I haven't really gone in uh, in too much depth with that. Uh, uh, with that gimmick just yet, and a uh, Boral Old Dragon if you want uh, an, uh, an alternate type of removal for uh, or extra materials for some of your other monsters. So yeah, there's an option if you want to take it. And yeah, that pretty much does it for Dragon Maids in terms of this profile. Uh, and you, know, you should be seeing uh, uh, one or two replays after this uh, to show these beautiful ladies in action. Let me know in the comments below if you actually uh, have any actual ideas on how to make the main gimmick and main playstyle of Dragon Maids better, utilizing stuff like Ancient Forest. Maybe it doesn't have to be Ancient Forest, maybe it can be another uh, all, all right field spell or basically any lockdown type of gimmick which basically uh, incentivizes the opponent to uh, figure out what they're doing before they run recklessly into them and lose all their monsters or something like that. Stuff like that, uh, basically. And, of course, uh, let me know if you can actually think of a somewhat competent Red Eyes variant for, uh, with these, because I, th I really think that uh, the combination of the two really can work. So, yeah. Uh, like, it, uh, like the title says, I want to make Dragon Maids a great archetype, and meta for that uh, matter, uh, matter, so yeah, uh, let's do it together, uh, help me out all those Dragon Maids fans out there, uh, so yeah, enjoy the one or two replays, I still haven't recorded them uh, on how the, how Dragon Maids uh, kick ass and stuff, and yeah, uh, ju just like the, the title also says, happy World Otaku Day to everyone who celebrated me, myself included. Alright, uh, I've said enough, enjoy the replays, I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.